Hey guys, well, it's a busy day for the Rio Verde water hauling company. I'm told crews started working at 7 this morning and they still plan to continue working for another hour or so. And we spoke with the owner who tells us that his crews have been going back and forth to one of Scottsdale's fill stations all day, transporting water to his neighbors. He expects to deliver 34 to 40,000 gallons today alone. The 1,000 people who live here are getting water again after months and years of back and forth. And the city of Scottsdale had warned the Rio Verde foothills that their supply would be cut off on January 1st, saying it needed to conserve the city's supplies during the ongoing drought. For now, Rio Verde is not getting Scottsdale's supply but instead an extra allotment of water from the Central Arizona project. Right now, the, the euphoria, you know, of having Scottsdale back on is awesome. People are, of course, happy. But we have to remember this is a temporary solution, and we still don't have a long-term solution in play. The city of Scottsdale agreement expires at the end of 2025. Um, but while this is a temporary solution, the company EPCOR has applied to construct a permanent standpipe to the area. That is under review by state officials. And people here worry that even if EPCOR does get that approval, construction for that standpipe could take several years. Reporting live in the Rio Verde foothills, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Casey, thank